Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hello, hello, teacher. Nice. Uh, I'm here in my, in, at my workplace. <laughs> yeah, that happens, right? It's, sometimes it's difficult, but it's very good that you make the effort to be yeah. here in the classes and practice. Also, remember that you are in intermediate, so uh, very soon you will be in advanced. And uh, the most important part is to continue learning to practice the more that is possible. So it's nice. Okay. Thank you. Nice. So how is everybody doing with the platform? So remember that we need to move on because the next week is the last week that we are going to have the, uh, well, not the last week, but we have one more day, that is Monday. Monday, I believe, it's Monday, August 21st. It's going to be the last day of class. Also, uh, please remember that you will be receiving, uh, sometimes you receive two services. The first survey is about the teacher only. So that you can do it. You can submit your opinion. And the second survey is the one from Insacore. So remember that, I believe that you have the experience on that one. So remember that that specific survey is uh, something that we are going to do in the last class. Right? The last class is going to be something that we do together. So please don't do that survey uh, alone by yourself. Just wait for the Monday 21st, August 21st. So we can do that together. Also remember that when we do it, that one, we need to enter the information exactly, exactly as you received that on the email. So um, most likely you are going to receive an email with all the information. And that is also the, the code of the, of the course and some things that we need to copy and paste, right? So that is also very important that you can copy and paste the information exactly and uh, at the end of the survey, also we're going to send a screenshot, right, for the um, for the completed survey, so we can keep that one. The screenshot has to be sent to the uh, WhatsApp group. Okay, so I believe that you have experience on that one, but just in case, I'm letting you know uh, that that is very important. Okay, so and. Uh, Do you have any questions about that? No, picture is okay. Okay, very good. Also, uh, this Friday, not tomorrow, but the next Friday, uh, is is a day that you can start finishing the whole platform. So, if you still have, let's say, two exercises without completing. And the final test, you can complete both. I mean, uh, you have the next weekend, not this weekend, but the next weekend for you to finish all the platforms. So if you have any questions, I, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. For the next Friday, um, will we finish uh, the platform? Next Friday, not yeah, tomorrow. The next, I mean, not tomorrow, but the next Friday, you can start finishing. I mean... Uh, next Saturday and next Sunday, you can finish everything, including the final test, but not this one, but the next. Okay, and we will have classes also on Monday. So you finish Saturday and Sunday, we have the final class on Monday, and that's it. Okay, excellent. Very good, nice. So it's very important those those things and also remember to continue practicing. I know that sometimes I don't know if you waited a long time uh, this time for the classes to start, but the uh, sometimes there are classes that they start or they have uh, to wait like around I don't know around one week or two weeks for the for the class to start. So uh, sometimes there is a little vacation, but that doesn't mean that you are not going to continue practicing. 
It's very important that you practice. That is very, very important, okay? Okay, very well. So we're going to check the assistance, my friends. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present. Good. Erika Yasmin Martínez Carpio. Present. Good. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present. Good. Herman Alexander Durán Linares. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Good. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Good. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Good. José Alberto Baños Hernández. Present. Good. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Good. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Nelson Antonio Erroda Rosales. Present. Good. Oswin Alexis Flores Hernández. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Good. Zulma Janet Ramírez Ávalos. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Good. And David Alexander Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Very good. Perfect. So we are going to start the class and we're going to check a little bit. So check onto that one. And of course, after that, we're going to check. Okay. We're going to check opinions, comments, or if you have questions. This is British English. So let's see how it goes. Let me just go there. Very good. Here we go. It's frozen! Nothing will work! Yeah! And all my football scores! Uh, I mean company accounts! Have disappeared! Can anyone get their computers to work? Or is it just me? Welcome back to the offices of Tip Top Trading, where, as you can hear, there appears to be a bit of computer trouble. Everyone's work seems to have disappeared. This is serious, so who can sort it out? Leave it to me. I'll sort it out. You just need to switch it off and on again, like that. Hold on. Let's check. Denise! All my documents have gone now! Oh, sorry. I was just trying to help. You'll just have to call IT support. Look, here's their number. It's support? No, Anna, not it, but IT support. Information technology, sometimes called computer support. Most big companies have them. These are the people who sort out your computer problems and get everything working again. But be careful, they might ask some tricky questions. OK, thanks. But what should I say to them? Tell them I'm having problems with my computer. Then say the screen keeps freezing and I seem to have lost some documents. Tell them I've turned the computer off and on but that hasn't fixed it. Finally, ask if they can help, please. Well, I'll give it a try. Here goes.
IT, Dave speaking. How can I help? Oh, hello, Dave. I'm having some computer problems. In fact, everyone is here. Right. What system are you using? What system? Yeah, what you're using? PC, laptop, Windows XP. Tell him it's Windows Seven. Um, it's Windows Seven on a PC. Oh, good, good. This should be easy. Were you using many applications when it crashed? Applications? Did you have lots of things open? Documents, spreadsheets, videos, other software? Well, I suppose I did. Right. Well,、uh, Anna, isn't it? Yes. Right. Well, Anna, try pressing Control Alt Delete at the same time. After that, try opening Windows again. Okay. Tom, could you open the Windows, please? What? What the Windows? Yes. Dave says so. No, no, no. Open Windows Seven on your computer. Oh, silly me. No, the screen just freezes. I'm a bit worried because I think I've lost some documents. Hmm. In that case, the only thing to do is reboot it. Reboot it? You mean kick it? No, reboot means turn it off and on again. Oh, I see. No, Dave, I've already tried turning it off and on again, but that hasn't fixed it. What am I going to do? Don't panic. I'll come and have a look. You're on the second floor, right? Oh dear, this is a bit worrying. But I'm sure Dave, the IT man, will get things sorted. Remember, if you have important documents, it's best to back them up on a memory stick, just in case you have a problem like this. Let's remind ourselves of the phrases we might use if we have to call computer support. I am having problems with my computer. The screen keeps freezing. I seem to have lost some documents. I have turned the computer off and on, but that hasn't fixed it. Can you help, please? Oh,、uh, hi. Is、uh, Anna here? She's over there. So, Anna, I'm just going to unplug the screen and put the wire back in. Okay, Tom. But are you okay down there? Mind your head. Excuse me. Are you Anna? I've come to fix your computer. Oh, hello. You must be Dave. I really like your hair. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you look rather lovely. <coughs> I'd、uh, better take a look at your computer. Don't worry, guys. It's okay. I think I've fixed it. Looks like Tom has a rival. Is Anna going to fall for the charms of Dave, the IT man, or is he just going to upgrade her software? This could get very interesting. But there's still work to be done. So join us again soon for English at Work. Bye. Okay. So, what did you get from this British video? It's about a problem, a problem, and、uh, she, she, uh, uh, someone uh fix the problem. The someone have a、uh, support with the ladies with the problem computer problem. Computer problem. Very good. So there was a problem with the computer, right?、Uh, it was frozen. The the screen freezes. So, and they wanted to to fix that. So,、uh, any other thing that you have checked into that? In my company, we have a I I two department. Yes, but I. I don't use computer to do my job, but we have a IT department. Yes, this is the, the, the people who can be resolve the problems with the computers. 
Very good. So yes, it's true, right? There are uh, some departments that are uh, there for you to to get some help when you have a crisis like that. I mean, sometimes this can be a very big crisis. But you need to do something right now and the computer crashes, right? So that is not good. Uh, all right, any other comments on the video? How did you find the accents and the pronunciation? Teacher, in what means sort or? Oh. Uh, sort of is like kind of it's like uh, uh how can i say you mind that i say uh you have sort of documents here so like many documents a few documents some like that no i didn't get it uh well depends on the and the context i don't remember what it says there in the video but sort of is like kind of is like yes more or less something like that Good. All right, we're gonna check some things here on uh, class, of course. Let me just go there. Yeah. All right, let's check about this and uh, let's uh, speak a little bit more about crisis, of course. Holman, could you please help me reading this slide? <clears throat> A corporate crisis is crisis. Crisis is definitely defined defined as an event, situation, or public in initiative, initiative 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 that threatens 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 a company's a company's ability to operate its business effect effectively. A uh, crisis crisis can scale in, into a disaster or long term independent in the in the impediment impediment to business growth if not handled with effi efficiency efficiency and sensitivity. To all in no in involved 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 crisis often begin at the local level but can af uh, affect a uh, company nationwide nationwide recovery from a corporate crisis re requires. Preparing for different scenarios from cyber security attack, cyber security, security, uh, uh, cyber attacks to employee criminal acts. All right, very good. So, uh, what did you understand on this one? I don't know, really. All right, the uh there are a lot of a lot of uh word, new new words for me. It's I was very difficult try to pronounce it uh, well. I it's uh um Uh, I understand like uh, it's, it's about the security uh, in the company is it's like it's a it's it's very important the the the, the good security in the companies uh, around the the network the system because there are a lot of uh, hackers a lot of uh, um, a lot of 
um, um, uh, problems in different in different networks on someone there are uh, but but teens and like uh, uh, hackers so I think it's is 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 like the the importance of the security because there are is danger dangers the, the the system because there are a lot of hackers and, and network dangerous than networks i think is 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 with the the business and the 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 profits because if you have a company and you have uh, your business, you have to uh, uh, be careful be with the networks and the system because you can you can lost lo uh, uh, money. It's, it's, it's like that. I, I, I okay, there very good. A <laughs> lot of different, different worlds. There are a lot of new worlds. Very good. So let's check on those ones. So it says, and what you say it was actually good. I mean, there are many kind of crises, right? So it says a corporate crisis is defined as an event, situation, or public initiative. So yes, so it's something that happens. We don't know. There are many causes for crisis. Uh, initiative that threatens. That is the first word. Threatens. So the question is, what is threat? The basic word is threat. Anybody knows what is threat? Amenazar. I'm sorry? Amenazar. Very good. That is threat. Threaten a company's ability to operate its business effectively. Of course, that is a crisis. Right? A crisis can escalate, and you know what is escalate, right? To get something bigger. A crisis can escalate into a disaster or long-term impediment to business growth, if not handled with efficiency and sensitivity to all involved. So this part is also important. I mean, everybody has to be involved in the solution of the crisis so we can move on, right? Crisis often begin at the local level but can affect a company nationwide. What is nationwide? Okay, nationwide is in all the country. That is it. In all in all El Salvador. So something like that. Nationwide. So the meaning of this one is like uh, a problem can start in one branch, one piece of the company, and can expand to other uh, to all the country. Some like that. Recovery from a corporate crisis requires preparing for different scenarios from cyber security. Okay, what is cyber security, my friends? Is the is the different application, uh, but uh, but uh, a defender the virus or, or or hackers maybe. Okay, so yes, some like that, right? So there are some uh, hackers that sometimes they got into the company servers and they steal information or they block the systems. Uh, there is something that is called, for example, ransomware. The ransomware is when a hacker gets into the system and they block everything and you cannot do anything. And they say, if you want to use your computer, you have to pay money. So uh, that is not good. So from cybersecurity attacks to employee criminal acts. So that is a crisis in general. Do you have any questions here in this slide? Pronunciation or vocabulary questions?
Uh, we pronounce the public in it, in it, in it. initiative. Initiative. Good. Any other question? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's see. Daniel Kimis, please help me with this. Okay. Environmental issues. Environmental concerns continue to grow in importance to customers. As a result, many companies have started implementing green practice sustainably. Sustainable. Sustainable. However, for companies that deal with sensitive environmental issues such as pipina pipeline. pipeline. What? Pipeline. 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 Construction. Wetlands mitigation. Energy hazardous materials and others. The public demand transparency, especially when something goes wrong. Very good. What did you understand on this one? <laughs> okay. They are the, they're talking about the, the environmental uh, safe, I think. Uh, uh, every company in our country supposed to have it is a rule that the companies, uh, big companies, ask for the for the factories for the let me see for the yes for the factories that uh, in the in the political is necessary to have a a, a safe and uh, or let me see or be safe about the environment environmental uh, uh, I think uh, we we in, in our company uh, our company for example uh, have a, a green place or let me see or a garden that say uh, that we need to how do you say cuidar? Take care. Take care. Uh, for it's uh, this, this, uh, uh, let me see this uh, paragraphs talking about, about us. Uh, it's necessary to have uh, some rules to take care uh, or be safe or yes uh, the 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 by by environment environment i think all right very good perfect thank you very much definitely that is uh, actually the, the topic says that one environmental issues right so problems with the environment so environmental concerns what is concerns anybody It's, a, it's important for everyone, for me, for example. It's my concern, so be safe about the environment. Exactly. When you are worried about something, when you really care about something, so that is a concern. So environmental concerns continue to grow in importance to consumers. So this is very important. There are some companies that they are doing this one because nowadays, uh, new generations, they say, if they are destroying the planet, I'm not going to buy this product, right? So that is happening a lot. As a result, many companies have started implementing green practices sustainably. So a green practice is like when companies, they say, we have um, materials that are recycled, that you can recycle, or that they do not damage uh, the environment, does do not cause pollution, something like that. I would say. However, for companies that deal, what is deal? Do you remember? 
in this context, what is the L? When you get a response about this case. Okay, something like that one is like when you manage something. So that deal with sensitive environmental issues such as pipeline construction, you know? Pipelines are like the tubes that are in a construction uh, under the construction, the tubes that moves the water or uh, the water that falls from the bathrooms and things like that. So those are uh, pipelines. So all those tubes that we have in the houses or in the buildings. Wetlands mitigations. Wetlands is like uh, when you have compartments in the city that are very wet because of the of the water, right? It's from wet. Yeah. And then it says energy, hazardous material. Do you know what is hazardous? Okay. The yeah, hazardous is like uh, materials that are dangerous, toxic materials. Those is a uh, hazardous materials. And others, the public demands transparency. Of course, yeah, we want transparency from the government, but sometimes it's not possible to check, right? Especially when something goes wrong. So, do you have any questions here in this? Okay, let's move on then. Cybersecurity. Hector, could you please help me with this? Of course, teacher. Cybersecurity. Wait a moment. Um, Cybersecurity bre breach? Breaches. Breaches and hacks are a significant threat to the business. Hack scare customers put them in danger of identity theft, identity. identity theft and you paradise you paradise jeopardize yeah you paradise pro property information security you can work to prevent cybersecurity threats but you can never guarantee that they won't happen even multinational companies are at risk are at risk Every corporation needs a crisis, crisis management crisis management plan for cybersecurity, including cybersecurity, cyber including instruction for employees, customer and ooh, shareholders, shareholders if a cyber attack occurs. Very good. What did you understand? Um I think when when we uh, have a lot uh, a connection in in the web, it's possible it hide the possibility to to um, get uh, or cómo se llama sufrir um, to suffer. ¿Cómo? What suffer? Suffer uh -huh, and at attack cybersecurity, and and if the company have a lot information in the web in the web or. Cloud and on the on the cloud is possibly lost. It's necessary to uh, pay a lot money for protect protect them and uh, the information. All the company uh, is is um, have a dangerous uh, risk to to um, occur uh, attack cyber security attack. Uh, government, uh, I don't know. Trunk, Transnational, trans, ¿cómo sería trans, eh, corporaciones, corporation, corporation, all industry can can eh, happen security, cyber security, and it is necessary have a lot money for protect the information because it's very important for the for the company, I think. Okay, very good, perfect. So 
Uh, yes, I mean, you are right. And this is one of the uh, problems that can cause a crisis in a company, definitely. Cybersecurity breaches. So you know what is a breach? Breach? Say, like a, a puente? I know, that is breach. And this is breaches. I know. I don't know. It's new for okay. me. It's for okay, breaches is like a gap like a space, like a hole uh, where the cyber criminals can enter into your system. So that is like a bridge. And hacks is like hacker threat. Are significant threats. Threat is the same word that we check together, right? So threat is like menace, something dangerous to your business. Hack scare, what is scare? Anybody else? <laughs> uh, yeah, from that one. Ooh, it's because, uh, uh, <laughs> something like that. Very good. Yeah, it's like when you are afraid of something. So, hack scare customers. Put them in danger or uh, of identity theft. And jeopardize. Do you know what is jeopardize? No. Okay, jeopardize is like when you put at risk something. Something like that is jeopardize. So in jeopardize proprietary and information security, you can work to prevent cybersecurity threats, but you can never guarantee that they won't happen. Evil multinational companies are at risk. Every corporation needs a crisis management plan for cybersecurity, including instructions for employees, customers, and shareholders if a cyber attack occurs. Shareholders. What is shareholders? Anybody know? It's like a protect something. Um, shareholders. Investors. Investors. Very good. The shareholders are the investors of a company, the ones that put the money, right? So, kind of the owners. Good. Do you have any questions here? Okay. So, Let's move on to the next one, product recalls. This is something that we check already, but we can also check right now. Jamie, Raquel, please help me with this one. Okay, product recall. Product recall or defect can damage a company's reputation for years. You should have a crisis communication plan in place if a problem ever arises. South of your particular product will undoubtedly decrease during a product recall. But sales in other product lines may also suffer in your brand's reput reputation is compri compromise. 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 Preve uh, prevention and communication are by town to rebuilding brand truth. Very good. What did you understand on this one? Let me see. Um, product recalls uh, more specifically uh, when a company uh, made this stage product recall uh, they have take care of the if they are doing this stage they try to don't don't delay so much time and try to don't 
may products that are can be damaged because your reputation can be affect. Uh, I I think that if the this is issues that uh, a great company that must take care because if you are a huge reputation, a good reputation, they must be more carefully than to don't try doing. Very good. So yes, sound like that one, right? So uh, we checked that already, but yes, it's a very good idea to check again. So product recalls is when a product has a problem and you need to to tell to the customers, give me back the product, right? or from the stores, we're going to retire, recover the product. And it says product recalls or defects can damage a company's reputation for years. Oh, that is true. That is true. That can destroy a company, definitely depending on the product that you see and the problem that it causes. You should have a crisis communication plan in place if a problem ever arises. What is arises? Okay, arises is like... Uh, when something comes up, uh, appears out of nothing. And then it says sales of your particular product will undoubtedly. Anybody knows what is undoubtedly? Something that is sure and you don't, you don't have any doubt. Very good. That is sure. No doubt. Very nice. Undoubtedly decrease during a product recall, but sales in other product lines may also suffer if your brand's reputation is compromised. Prevention and communication are vital to rebuilding brand trust. Let's take some words. Brand, what is brand? Uh, uh proper name very good the commercial name of a, a product or a company nice then it says uh, rebuilding what is rebuilding uh, it's like a re refactoring the products for 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 damage very good redo something Reconstruct. Very nice. Perfect. And uh, anybody has a question for this? Okay, let's move on then. Conflict with interest groups. That is going to be for, let's see. Uh, 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 Sulma Janet. Okay, a uh, conflict with interest groups. Conflict can arise from political, environmental, so social, and cultural interest groups who feel threat threatened by your company's initiatives. This can put your company in a bad light when fighting against a group that seems to have good intentions rather than ignoring or battling with these interest groups show the community you care by working on a solution. You may not agree with the interest groups ideas or initiatives, but they are members of your community and therefore stockholders whose concerns should be addressed. Okay, what did you understand on this one? Uh,
Uh, talk about uh, groups with different interests, I suppose. Uh, but, I, but I don't I don't know if this is about a, a, in the company inter inter in the company or is out of the company. This is out of the company. So your company with other groups or companies. Ah, okay. Okay. So uh, yes, it says conflict with interest groups. Conflict can arise, which arise already, from political, environmental, social, and cultural interest groups who feel threatened by your company's initiative. So this is like, for example, in mind that a company says, we are going to build a huge, I don't know, mall. And then the environmental group says, oh, we need to save the forest. The trees are important. Do not build that one. So that is a conflict. Okay. When a company, they want to invest money and produce something, but the other says, no, we don't need more malls, right? We need to keep the trees safe. So this is a good example of this. This can put your company in a bad light when fighting against a group that seems to have a good intentions. Okay, so yeah, fight against this kind of groups is not good. Rather than ignoring or battling with these interest groups, show the community you care by working on a solution. You may not agree with the interest group's ideas or initiatives. But they are members of your community and therefore, therefore it's like, so stakeholders whose concerns should be addressed. So I don't see any, any word here, but do you have any question here in this one? Teacher. Yes. In the pronunciation, I'm not, um, uh, understand. Again, again, uh, compare with again, again, as repeat, again and again and again, and again, what the difference? The song. Okay. Yeah, on pronunciation is the ST at the end, against and again. Against. Okay, okay. Good, good. Any other question? Ooh, okay, very good. So let's move on. Oh, we finished that part. Nice. So let me just go to the book. And we're going to continue. Yeah. Where are we? Unit 3, it's it. Okay, so let's see. We did this already. Yeah. And we did this already. So it says, number the following key actions to consider when dealing with a crisis in order of importance. One, most important, and five, least important. Discuss your choices with a partner. And it says, be accountable for your actions. Assume responsibility. Accountable, what is to be accountable? Anybody knows? Okay, to be accountable for your actions means that all your actions has a consequence and you need to live with the consequences of your actions. So you are responsible for what you do. Okay, the other one says, don't forget about social media. Control the flow and accuracy of information. Flow, what is flow? Anybody knows? Is the pass of life? Actually, or... no. That is that is flu. 
Uh, this flow is like flujo. It's when something flows in, in one way to the other. Good. The next one says have legal advice and communication experts at hand. Oh, that's a good one. Be honest. Never lie in times of crisis. Communicate with customers and suppliers. Okay, so we are going to do the exercise. We are going to number the actions uh, for how to deal with a crisis. What is the most important? That is number one. And the least important is number five. I will give you a few minutes for you to finish that one. Check, and if you have questions, let me know. Okay, let's check, my friends. Uh, which one do you believe it will be the number one? Be honest, never lie in time of crisis. Well, I agree with you. That is very important. You cannot lie really? to your employees or to the community or to your customers or to the government. Yeah, if you have a crisis, you need to be transparent and, and try to fix the problem. Right? Good. What will be the number two? Communicate with customers and suppliers. Communicate with customers and suppliers. That is a very good one, actually. Nice. What will be the number three? Uh, have legal advice and communication experts at hand. That is very important. Yeah, because you need to handle your crisis and they are the experts, so they can tell you exactly what to do. Good. Number four, what do you think it will be number four? Be accountable for your action and assume responsibility. Okay, that is also very important. Your actions are, are very important. Right? So if you did something wrong, you need to say it and live with the consequences. Nice. Okay, and what would be the last one? For me, number five is control the flow and accuracy of information. Okay, control the flow and accuracy of information. All the information here and all the ideas on how to deal the crisis is important, all of those. Uh, it depends on the crisis, I believe. Depends on the situation, which one is going to be more important than the other. I believe that beyond is definitely that is 
something very important. I'll be honest with you, like so to check what happened. Good, my friends, nice. So now we have exercise seven. Assume your company was involved in the crisis below. Take turns responding to this question. What would you have done as a manager? Remember that what would you have done is something like uh, hypothetical, right? something that is not true, okay? And we have four situations. Number one says, dissatisfied employees release a video of themselves tampering with the products of the company. The video goes viral and customers are, are outraged. So, uh, well, you know what is dissatisfied. And the other one is tampering. Tampering. Do you know what is tampering? Anybody? Tampering is something like manipulating, something that it manipulates. Okay. And the other one is outrageous. Do you know what is outrageous? Okay, when you say outrageous, it is in Spanish indignado. So customers are outraged. So that is the first situation. The number two says a new laptop model has been released into the market. A few days later, it is discovered that the new model has a flaw which makes a battery explode and catch fire while charging. My laptop. I mean, it sounds very dangerous, but that happened, right? So that was happening. So, so flow is like something that is not good, not good quality. And I don't see any other word here. Okay. Number three says, one of your employees from a branch store had to defend himself against an aggressive customer. But social media is reporting the issue as a case of an aggressive employee attacking a consumer. Like Prado, do you remember Prado? That the security guard and a customer, they had a problem, right? And the last one, it says a hurricane has made it almost impossible for your employees to get to the company facilities. Okay, so now that we know, first of all, do you have any questions here? And the one, two, three, four exercises or uh, situations before we move on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to work in groups, two or three people, and you are going to say, what would you do in these situations? Uh, I guess you have the book already. So uh, anyways, I guess I can chat with you the exercise. Let me see if it's possible. Um, let's see. Okay, I sent it already to the chat in case you don't have the book, but it's already there on the book. So, and uh, we're going to make some breakout rooms so we can discuss what would you do on the situations and then you are going to share to the class, okay? Any questions with the activity that we're gonna do? Okay, so let's do that. Let's see here, that will do. Here we go.
Okay, everybody. I believe that you are ready to share what would you do in this situation. So we're going to listen first to uh, Sulma, Jeanette, and Vanessa, Noemi. Okay, it's uh, okay. for the first one we we thought that the manager first had to first has to make an apologize in the official page from the company, and then we think that the manager has to talk with the employees know the reason about about the problem and it's necessary fire the employee because it's caused caused uh are uh, a reputation problems and maybe lose of of sales and customers for the first one then and the second one and um, we think that uh, the manager has to make a, an announcement that the people who buy the, the computers must, must change the product or, or return it to the, to the store and get a refund. And then he, the, the manager has to, 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 make, to give a, a, a reason that the that have to remove all the stuff that they have at the store and prohibit the sales of, of the of the computer. Then in the third one, and the manager has to check the security cameras because in this kind of in this kind of stores and all of them has a camera, security cameras, and the manager has to check it in order to clarify the situation and post it on social media with explication about the case. And the last one, we thought that the, the manager has supplied the home office for the employees that was affected for the origin. They had to to give them the the computers in order to work from their house. Only them. Very good. That was very interesting. Thank you very much. The next one are uh, Daniel Arquimedes, Fati Maglar, and Ivan Petrovich. Let's listen to them. Okay, we didn't finish, but we have a, but I have a, a two sentence, the one and two. Okay. Let me see. Uh, the satisfied employees release a video in their service temp temporary with the products of the company, the video calls Peter and customer are our own strategies. If I was manager, I would have done it to release the video and apologize to the customers. Uh, Fatima has uh, others, uh, others uh, as well. Other solution for this crisis, I think, is. Um, I give a amonestation for the employees and verify who has the bad idea and why do that and fire him for bad person. Okay, that's good. Cool. And, and the, the second sec one? Yes. Okay. And the second one, a new laptop model has been releasing to the markets. A few days later, it discovered that the new model has a flaw, which might just about to display or cash fire while sharing. If I was a manager, I would have done it to products recall to the market. And Fatima has other answers to solve this problem. 
I think um, give the information for a customer who knows the the this problem the who have the computer. Very good, interesting, nice. Thank you very much. Interesting, all the answers. Uh -huh. Let's check now the next ones. Uh, Daniel Antonio Luna, Jose Alberto Baños. Okay, um, for the search uh, point, if there is evidence like a video, uh, the employee must be dismissed. The number two about the new laptops, uh, the product must be recalled for for replace the battery or, or replace the, the the new the laptop for the for the customer. The number three is uh, the employee should be called for to attention. And the number four in uh, the the work the work the company uh, try to provide transportation facilities to the company okay very good very nice also very similar to the other ones as you can see you are aligned very good next one is going to be Hector Francisco Jamie Raquel and Carla Lorena And the answer is similar to the others. And number one, the sacrifice employees release a, a video of themselves tampering with the product of the company. The video goes viral and customers are outraged. Out what is the pronunciation? Outrage. Outrage. Uh, we are agreeing with the others in the 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 managers apologize to the customers in number two uh, a, a new laptop model has been released into a market a few days later later is it is discovered that the new model has a flaw with makes its battery explode or catch fire with charging. Uh, in number two, uh, the manager called customer to print the computers and change. In number three, one of your employees from a branch store have to defend himself against an aggressive customer, but social media is reporting the issue as a case of an aggressive employees attacking attacking a cost a customer. We seen a Uh, the manager can share a uh, communicate and describe all the issues. In number four, and uh, I can finish. Okay, very good. It was very nice, very nice. Thank you very much. Then we have uh, Holman, Saul, and Nelson Antonio. I, uh, Nelson, can you say the, the number? Number of one. Huh? Yeah, okay. number one. Is, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Yes. The employee realized a video of then server tampering with the product of the company. The video of Iron and customer are of gay. Okay, in, in this scenario, we think that the, that the manager apologized with the 
with the ghost of the customers. And I think after that, the manager asked to the, the employee what were the, the reason for the for the video. Okay, Horman, next. Okay. Um... A new a new laptop model has been released into the market a few days later. If it is discovered that the new model has a a flaw which makes its battery slow or catch fire while charging. Well, I think uh, the customer well the major the customer. Have, have two options. Uh, uh, the manager have to do a refund or uh, give a new laptop, a good a good new laptop. I think have a say say I'm sorry, and and maybe uh give a gift to to. to to try to to, uh, to fix that a uh, present with a uh, refund or uh, give a new a uh, good new lab. Okay. <clears throat> okay. One one of your employees from a branch a branch store. Had to defend himself against an, ag an aggressive customer. But social media is reporting the issue as a case on an of an aggressive employee attacking a consumer. Okay, I think the, the manager maybe apologized to the, the consumer too because uh, in the almost company, the manager said the, the consumer the consumer consumer uh, have the the reason, but the manager see the the video and ask, ask with with the employee and no knowledge that that the problem is the is the consumer, no the is not the employees. And maybe no 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 fire to the employee for the problem. Okay, okay. the last one. Um uh, here I can has made it almost possible for the employees to get to the company facility. Well, I think uh, you have to analyze the situation and keep the call and try to 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 motivate or the employees or uh, keep calm in that situation and then try to to uh, to continue with the activities um, and try to to uh, do a good a good action for the uh, for the employees to to motivate to to try to 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 continue with the activities the next day day the next. Very good, very nice. All the answers has been very interesting, and you can see that they are very similar, right? Uh, yes, there are some differences in some situations, but uh, yes, uh, they are kind of similar, so you are aligned. Uh, these are crises that can happen to any company. The last one actually is sometimes common. I mean, if it's raining a lot, sometimes it's not possible. If there's an accident, sometimes you're late to go to the company. So. 
Uh, very good, very good job, my friends. Yeah. And we're gonna go to uh, this part it says, I will be able to create a basic crisis management plan. So uh, number one, it says, what elements would you include in a crisis man management plan? What do you think? What are the parts of a plan for you to manage crisis? Keep, keep calm, keep calm and motivate the, the employees. It's very, very okay. Have a, a good attitude in the in bad situation and difficult in the in situation difficult. Try to to motivate and keep keep calm and have a good attitude. It's very important. Okay. So yeah, that is true. The attitude is very important. Sometimes it's difficult because in a crisis you are afraid of something might be happening. But uh, if you have a good attitude, that is gonna help you. Any other part of a plan that anybody can think of? Maybe the person that are in the company, the area, you have to define where the, like a, um, a safe place that you can go in case of a crisis, uh, like a crisis like a earthquake or, or, or something like a fire or something like that. Okay. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Definitely that is a good part of what we need to analyze and move on. The next question says, how can you make sure the plan is going to work in case of a difficult situation arises? How are you sure? You have a plan and you say, this plan is going to work. How do you know that? I think it's difficult sure, because you can make like, um, I don't know how to say simulacro. Uh, mm, that is uh, an attempt. No, there was another one. I don't remember. I will tell you. So go ahead. Well, you can make a similar cross, but in in the exercise is is easy to to make it. But in the real life, when the the crisis that that is happening, it's it's difficult or it's different. Because it's the pain, I think, of the culture of the persons. Okay. You are right. I mean, yes, you can have the best plan. Or sometimes some companies, what they do is that they have uh, different plans for situations, right? So that might be happening. But even though you have some situations like that, yeah, probably something's going to happen. Right? So... And that that might be it. Okay, so uh, let's do the exercise number two. Order the sequence in which a crisis management should be created. And the first one says, provide crisis training evaluations. That is something very important. Training and how to evaluate some crisis. That is very important because sometimes there are some crises that are not that, important but there are some things that can escalate and create something very bad uh, the other one says create a crisis management team of course to have a team that is going to handle difficult situations always always something uh, very good develop a management crisis plan of course you need to have a plan in case of something happens Assess potential crisis. Uh, what is assess? Anybody remembers? Evaluate. Very good to evaluate 
So as is potential prices, what can happen to me? I mean, in a factory, for example, fire, right? Fire is something that can happen. Accidents uh, for people, uh, people that cannot come to work because of many reasons. There are many things that we handle. And the last one says establish guidelines uh, for information gathering. Gathering, do you know what is gathering? Okay, gathering is to put together things, okay? So, to collect in this situation. Do you have any questions with any of this, any word? Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a few minutes and you are going to put in order which one is number one, which one is number two, and tell us why do you think that is the first part, okay? So I'm going to give you a few minutes and please put in order everything there.
Okay, so let's check. What would be the first one? I think it's access potential crisis. crisis. Access, very good. Access potential crisis. That is the number one. What would be number two? Establish guidelines for information gathering. Okay, establish guidelines for information gathering. Very good. Yeah, yeah, we need to gather some information about what is going on, what do we have, things like that one, right? And number three? Develop a management crisis plan. I think it creates a crisis manage management team. Yeah, I believe it's create. Create a crisis management team. That will be the next one. And number four? Develop a management crisis plan. Develop a management crisis plan. Very good. And uh, the last one, what would be? Provide crisis training evolution. Very good. Perfect. Very nice. Good. All right, do you have any questions about this? Good, perfect. We're not going to do the next exercise because we don't have that much time, but tomorrow we're gonna make it, okay? As I was telling you, my friends, at the beginning of the class tonight, we need to move on with the platform, okay? So uh, we are right now in unit number three. For tonight, we have to do, let's check and let me tell you. We have to do exercise 3.5, okay? That is the one for tonight. So if you still haven't done exercises before uh, 3.5, uh, we need to move on. That is a very important thing. Also, uh, remember that next week is not the final week. I mean, it's almost the final week. So for the next Saturday, not this Saturday, but the next Saturday, we need to finish the platform, okay? The whole thing. And also, uh, remember about the survey. Uh, the survey from Insaforp is something that we are going to do here uh, together, right? So uh, the last day of on Monday 21st. Let me just check the calendar here. It's going to be exactly, yeah, 21st. Monday 21st is going to be that last day of class, okay? And so the survey is going to be for that one. Amazing. Very good. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, any questions about anything? Do you practice English in your free time? Let me ask you. Do you do some exercises or, I mean, what do you do to practice English in your free time? Teacher, I drive to watch series or movies on English, like like movies that I, that I like it or that I watch a lot. I, I watch again in English to try to practice the listening and make and also the uh, the pronunciation of the word. That is a very good exercise because you enjoy and then also you practice English. Remember that English is communication. I mean, is if you see it just like a class. Uh, maybe it's not going to be good. But if you, for example, if you listen to a song and you understand what is the song about, but if you watch a movie and you enjoy the movie, for example, I mean, if you see a movie with subtitles or in Spanish, and you will see in English that as well, you will see that sometimes what you see in the subtitles or what they say in Spanish is not what they say in English. So that is something amazing, right? 
is something very good because you know what is going on. You know what's happening there, what people are really saying. Uh, even the voice, for example, I mean, I really like one TV show that is called The Big Bang Theory. If you see that in Spanish, ah, it's not that. It's, ah, it's not good. In English, it's amazing. Yeah, some jokes, like, it's it's different in Spanish. So, for example, I like to, to watch Shrek. So it's it, the the jokes in Spanish change a lot of, and then on in some cases in English it's not it's like no it's different and maybe it isn't um like uh como como gracioso desde gracioso funny ah uh, funny. In English, it's like, for me, some jokes are, aren't funny, but in Spanish, it, it's funny for me, and vice versa, it's funny, right? Very good, so that is true. I mean, uh, if you watch things in the original language, I think, if you watch a, movie, a Spanish movie from Spain, of course, it's going to be very nice in Spanish. But if you watch TV shows in English, the sounds... Uh, the background, everything is better. So it's something that you can start doing. And that is a very good exercise, the one that you are doing. So please continue practicing. That is very important uh, because English is it's not just one class, right? It's something that you can do in different ways. Very good. So we're going to check the attendance and let's go to bed. We need to sleep a little bit. So, Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino Garcia. Present. Good. Erika Yasmin Martinez Carpio. Present. Good. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Good. Herman Alexander Duran Linares. Present. Good. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Good. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Good. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Good. José Alberto Baños Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Good. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Present teacher. Good. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Right here. Good. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Nelson Antonio Erroda Rosales. Present. Good. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present. Good. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Good. Zulma Janet Ramirez Ábalos. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Good. And David Alexander Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Good. The one on one of tonight is for Samantha and for the rest. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest very well and dream in English. Thank you, teacher. Thank have a good you. night. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you. Hey, remember the homework. <laughs> good night. Good, good night. Good night. <laughs> Hello.